Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Banaka and I'm basically I just post shaving stuff, ink stuff, whatever I feel like on my channel. But today I got a soap for you. It's called Beyond the Void by HCNC which is Hendrix Classics & Co. Uh, Pete Hendrix is the one who does the soap out of I believe Nashville, Tennessee. I won the soap um, on a giveaway that um, Pete Hendricks did over on his company, I guess, page on Instagram. So go over to Instagram, follow him, and you never know, you might win a giveaway or just check out his company. Uh, they All right, we are back and I already did my lather. And before we continue, Beyond the Void, and you can tell how much I scooped it out. Um, let's see, it's pretty soft, but it's like, well, soaps are soft. You first get them and you wait four years and they turn into a brick. <laughs> I think my other soap. Anyway, uh, Menorah. Uh, Gillette Blades, um, we're gonna try them. I bought a hundred pack of these, so let's give them a roll. And I threw them in my Razorac Lupo. And let's get this bed boy going. It is chilly here. <laughs> we were like 90s, 90s, then dropped to 80, then 70, and then today we are in our 50s. So, oh snap, it's cold. And I hope to get on my heater don't kick on because I forgot I turned it on. Anyway, nice warm water and a bucket on the side. Um, and I apologize uh, for being absent for a while. Anyway, we'll talk about that in a minute. And right about now is uh, story time. And and if you don't like the story time, um, kick it to the very end and then uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> yeah, it's been what two months now? Chee, I've been kind of like Ooh. out of it there for a minute. But oh well. Okay, like I said, I think 2021 hates me. It totally does. Started out with eye surgeries, and after my eye surgeries, my grandma died. After my grandma died, then my uncle died. Then now they want us to take over their house, and found mold in the house and it's like uh, if it ain't one thing and then it's another right that's life then I'm gonna be rinsing off in a teeny wee little cup because my partner because I use these old uh, AMC um, popcorn buckets and I use them to put my waters in he done destroyed two of them <laughs> stashed this one so he didn't technically attack this one yet so yeah but that's my life so far. And in a nutshell. So, yeah. I like P. Hendrix's soap. And I like the fact that he does, like, the unscented. And then, with let's say you like this fragrance, uh, Beyond the Void. And I believe he is going to do drops for them. And so let's say you're like, gee, I wish I had a little bit more um, to it. So, you could buy... I'll show you what it looks like. One of these little uh, bottles. And uh, it's a little dropper. And like this is the, the grapefruit one that I wanted to smell. And I, when I won the soap, he also kicked that one as a free gift. But anyway, um, so you could buy drops and then say, oh, I want it amped up just a tad bit more. So you put a couple more drops. So, I, I like that. Because, like, some people, they're like, well, I wish it was stronger. I wish it wasn't so strong. And this way, you could do it yourself. And, of course, like anything, you can overdo things. So, my advice is, he does send you instructions on how to use them. So, follow directions. And don't get mad when you overdo it. Right? Right. 
so far. This play is doing good. I haven't nicked myself or sometimes um, some blades just don't work. And I kind of like how I'm just going with different blades with the same razor. So I know it's the blade and not the razor. Because I notice they've seen a lot of men. They're like, oh, I got this new razor and let's go with this blade. And then they're mad because they don't know if it's the blade. Or maybe the blade is a little too aggressive. Or is it the razor? There's a lot of what ifs in there. So if you just stick to the one razor and try 50 different blades, then you know if it's the blade or what is wrong, right? Right. So far, so good and great. And if you notice, I always have to stretch my legs certain ways to get to certain angles, but hey, that's life. And um, looking over there on Instagram, read. Um, I think his uh, Instagram handle is Shave Cave. Uh, he's going back to school, which is cool. And um, hope you have fun and learn a lot. Learn a lot more than me. <laughs> I went to the College of Hard Knocks and it sucks. And sometimes I wish I would have went a different route. But then again, I might be in the same route due to the fact that my vision sucks. And it's like... What kind of job could you find when you're being a blind bat? I mean, in the old days, you could do like a little mediocre, mundane little job. Like, move this thing to here, this thing to here, or, you know, you do little things, right? Well, nowadays, we got machines that do all that wonderful stuff. So the small mundane jobs are basically out the window. So, oh well. It is what it is. Right, right. Okay, let's wrap the leg. Put it to the side. I like this scent. It's a nice light cologne scent. I, I need to look at the <laughs> scent notes. I just like... Uh, of course, I enter giveaways, if you haven't noticed. And it's like anything. You can't say, well, I don't ever win, unless if you put your name in the bucket, right? Always got to put your name in the bucket. There's times I want stuff at the gas stations. I want me a bike one time. Did I use it? No, but the big bike was all jacked up. I was like, ugh. So, knee in the box. I don't know. It's, I think it's going to cost more to fix the goofy bike than it is to... I should go buy a new one, <laughs> which is crazy. But anyway, yeah, enter giveaways, man. Don't do it one time and then they don't draw your name and give up. It's just one of those things you just got to keep going, 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 going. You never know. And play your odds. Like... In this giveaway, I think he said I was 1 out of 21, so I got really good odds. And like over on BBS Live, my odds there are 1 out of 200, was it 85 now, if I remember correctly? Anyway, play your odds, play your odds. Because if it wasn't for these giveaways, you guys, I mean, I wouldn't be able to try half of this stuff. Because I'm a broke butt. And when you're a broke butt, you wish a lot. That's why I do the giveaways. Like, comment, share. And then, fortunately, thank you to the Shave Gods, I've won some stuff. And I'm very thankful for it. And when I do some of the giveaways, I've actually was, like, Shave My Search. It was his... 100th subscriber giveaway. I want a soap from him. So I was like, cool. You know, I got this soap that it was his 100 person sub. That's a mile marker in a person's life. That's kind of cool. Um, was it? Um, Leatherhog. I won his 500 uh, subscriber giveaway. 
And I was like, cool. Now look at Leather. Huh? He's like at a thousand. He's like tearing it up. And um, I won a razor from IMCDB. Um, you know, I win some stuff here and there. And I like to say thank you, everybody, for giving me the opportunity to win some of this wonderful stuff. Because if otherwise, I would have never been able to enjoy half of this stuff. Anyway, size me getting all mushy here. That's my chick nest coming in. Over there on a, I watch like um, Smiles from Oz and Reed. Over there as an N D N B N D B. Anyway, I can't remember initials. My memory sucks. But anyway, Smiles is under his, and that's on Sunday show. And Instagram's tearing it up. I showed you guys. They got a shave show. Um, Every other Wednesday is Canadian Mafia, and I just won a um, top of the chain gift certificate, which I just placed my order. And um, the four Canadians hop on there and they talk, and it's always a hoot because you learn a lot and you learn a French word. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. And then let me see. Then on Sundays, you got Smiles and his new co-host, well, it was Reed and a new co-host is going to be, uh, shit, can't remember now. Dang it, memory, I'm telling you, it sucks. Anyway, so I watched that on Sundays and then every other Friday is Real Talk and then after Real Talk, then... Every other Thursday is uh, Nate and Mel, or Mel and Nate, and um, they do BBS Live every other Thursday. So Instagram's really going for it, man, let me tell you. They have a lot of shows, which is fun, and then you can participate, so you can put your little comments underneath, and some people sm put smart-ass comments, but nevertheless... You can put a comment and you can interact. I kind of like those. They're fun. Alright. That's a good shave. And I, I have been shaving. This is about a week's worth. My deal is I've just been doing it off camera. Just whenever. Nighttime. Whatever. When my man's around. And he's like. Ah. I might be on camera. So. The camera is an evil thing for him. So, I think he, yeah, he did one time. Got to come on camera. He was like, my lovely assistant. He helped me do my giveaway. That one time. All right. Mmm. Smooth. I like that. This is still kind of damp. But, yeah. If need to be, I bet you I could leave. And I'll be fine, right? But I'm gonna jazz it up. I'm gonna go with some garment, unscented balm. Uh, can you see I'm halfway mark? It's been a year, you guys. A year. Well, I only shave once a week. <laughs> so that's probably why it's lasted me a long time. For some people, it'll only last them what? Months? But anyway. That is it. It was a great shave. And I'd like to say thanks again, uh, P. Hendrix, for doing the giveaway. And I personally, if this is my own money and I purchased this myself, I'd be like, damn, I hit it. This is a good one. It's not, it's not a super strong scent. I'm going to give this scent probably a four to five. Because... It's really light, but like I said, his company does these drop things. Let me see. The drops. And then you could put more fragrance if need to be. And I need to invest in some of his aftershave balm. But thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. And thank you for hanging tough if you hung with me this long. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, if, uh, I just do this for fun. 
Um, I'm not an expert on scent, so I'm not an expert on um, poche feel. I'm not an expert at any of this. I do this because I like doing this. I think it's fun. And if you don't see me, I'm still alive. I'm still out there. You probably see me more on Instagram because I like posting pictures. On, I'm getting into Instagram. Facebook, I'll hop on and do a couple of lives here and there, but it is what it is. And I basically, those are the two main ones. I just downloaded TikTok. I don't know if I want to jump in that zone. Ugh. And then I do have a Twitter, but I post my videos over there every so often, not very often. Um, I, TikTok to me seems more of like a kind of like Reddit. Like I have a Reddit account, but I don't really use it. Because that's like a whole bunch of typing nerds that uh, people like standing behind the screen and typing crap. And I don't want to be around negativity. So Reddit to me seems more negative. Um, sometimes I'll post over there. Not a lot. But anyway, I'm out there. So if you want to find me, you could find me. And right now I'm in a transition of a move. Yes, you're like, God, but not going to it take you to move. Months. I'm telling you. You got to move some stuff out of this room, you gotta strip everything, paint it, you gotta redo it, then you can move in some stuff, then we're on our second room right now, we're in the master room, and we're also fixing up the house that we're in, so when we leave, we could get some money out of this house. So anyway, my life's a total mess right now, and I don't want to burden you anymore with it. <laughs> Alright, we are out of here, and again, I really like that soap. It's, I like the scent. It's a light cologne scent. It smells like a, a really fresh gentleman, like just, you know, jumped out of the shower, threw in some cologne, and it is a crowd pleaser scent. You know how some scents are like really challenging? But this one, I like it. And I don't want to end it, but I'm going to end it. <laughs> All right, later, you guys. Bye.